Good evening and welcome to my Halloween makeup series, where I will be presenting 13 spooky spins on my usual makeup tutorial format for my favorite holiday. Tonight's feature is a part of a collaboration based on one of the most unrelenting monstrosities in modern media, the notorious Instagram algorithm. So sit back, relax, and behold the horror of the shadow banner. Start with gluing down my eyebrows with a glue stick. Apply a latex bald cap using Prosade adhesive. And cut out holes and pull the ears through. Put some glue on each ear. And then apply some large latex elf ears from Wuchi. Once in place, blend everything into the skin with a little latex. Use Wolf FX Hydrocolor in yellow with a sponge on the chest and nose. Also in the upper lip area. I did lighten my brows with some Skin Illustrator Prairie Dust real quick. Then on to Wolf FX in orange, blended outward from the yellow spaces. Before I go in with some more orange, I sprayed it all down with some Skin Illustrator Zero Marble Sealer. Now taking the Bow Buggles Pro Classic Color Number 2 palette, use the rose color for the area outside of the orange, blending them into each other, just like the yellow and orange. Followed by that same Bow Buggles Pro Palette, this time with the light purple, color in all the remaining skin. At this point, I jump back to the Bow Buggles Rose Color to better blend. Clean up the yellow with a smaller brush. And seal everything again with Zero Marble. And intensify some of those light purple areas. Then with Mayron Edge in black, painted out the tops of the shoulders and outer arms to create a creature shape. Using Mayron Edge in white, sketch out the mouth and roughly paint in the teeth. Create some gums using Skin Illustrator Nova 6 palette color Rubio. After that's all done, fill in the space between the teeth with Mayron Edge Black. Now back in with the white Mayron Edge and up the opacity and clean up the teeth shapes. Next, taking Skin Illustrator in white, start to paint the eyes. Use this because it won't reactivate when I go over with more water activated colors later. even putting a few pairs across my chest. Using Mayron Star Blended Black, shade around the eye shapes and rough out the eyelids. Also shading along the top area of the gums and the base of teeth for some dimension. With Skin Illustrator Color Coven, Highlight the gum between the teeth and at the base of them. Then back with the Mayron Edge in black to line the teeth and outer gum area. And onto the eyes to outline them as well. On to using the Starry Night color out of the Skin Illustrator Nova 6 palette and start airbrushing all the deep areas. Creating some blotchy textures on the top and back portion of the head. Paint some shadow areas around the mouth to flesh out some lips. Even brought the texture to the chest. Going over a few times to get different shapes and darkness. Follow that up with some Skin Illustrator in black, keeping this color to the most shadow areas in the ears, eyelid shape, and mouth. Took the Mayron Edge in white and painted some stark highlights around the mouth area. Like the high points of the lips, gums, and teeth points. 
give those shadows of the lips more depth with some black Mehron edge before getting back to those eyes. First color, use Bow Buggles Pro Saffron Color out of the Classic Color number 2 palette. Paint in the iris area, then went over with Mehron White Paint with some streaky patterns over the saffron. Now with the black Mehron, add the outer portion of the iris, still keeping those streaky patterns. Also popped in an iris. With the Bow Buggles Rose Color, paint in the iris, and then do the same white and black steps we just did on the orange eyes. The final set on the chest, use Bow Buggles Light Purple to go with the Scaleras. Next, with Skin Illustrator Coven, put in the fleshy pink part in the corner of each eye and the waterline. Using the Black Mehron Star Blend, shade the top of each eye. Followed by the Black Mehron Edge line around the eyes and under the waterline. Now to really amp up the dimension, back to the White Mehron Edge paint and highlight around the eyes to really help them pop. Also put some spots on the shadow area of the teeth to make them look a little bit wet. Decided to grab the black star blend and extend a lot of the shadows around the eyes. And use the black edge paint to refine the shoulders. Back in with the airbrush and black skin illustrator to really deepen those shadows. Even added some blotchy textures on the outer eye area. I find this a little more interesting to look at than smoother shading. Added some creature textures on the chest too, and I'm bouncing around a lot so I don't get too dark. Using the white Mehron edge, put in some highlights and some of the open areas. To get some of the parts softer, I used a damp brush to blend it out. Popped in the contacts and realized on the lenses, the pupils weren't smooth circles. So painted some black streaking to break it up to better match. Shade in around my actual eyes with the Mehron Black Star Blend. Then add some highlights similar to the painted eyes to tie it all together. Lastly, put some highlights on the eyeballs to give them some more life. And there you go. Thank you so much for watching. I will be uploading a new video every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday for the month of October. So if you had fun, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any other Halloween specials. I am challenging myself to the 31 days of Halloween. So if you're interested in seeing all 31 looks created for October, be sure to follow me on Instagram. See you next time.